Do you think if I tell Padgy he's gorgeous, he'll come by? I'm Kelsey and I'm single, so I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in the Sims world where you have one matriarch and the goal is to have occult babies with every occult sim in the Sims 4. There are some rules to this challenge. I'm doing a mix of two different challenges. So if you're interested in following along, the link will be below. Last time we waited around and got stood up by Patchy. So if he doesn't show up in the next like day in the Sims world, we're gonna be trying again for a mermaid. Patchy might be dead to us. It's fine. He's always sticking his pumpkin nose where he didn't belong. And then now that I actually want him around, he's MIA. Classic. So we are back in the Impeachish May household, but not as we last left it. If if you follow me on Twitch, you might have seen that we did a remodel of, oh my gosh, she's already outside this door. That is absolutely hilarious. So I remodeled the home. I'll give you guys a little tour. So we have the kitchen and the dining area. We got our yellow chairs, but mismatch. We have a beautiful bookcase, a little desk for Chelsea and her photos of the daddy. And then of course we have the toddler bathroom. I just thought I wanted to represent a little bit of everything in terms of the occults that you could be. And it's also conveniently located right next to where their food is stored. And then this is kind of the living room area. I decided against having a TV after all. I wanted us to feel like a little fantasy squad. And then if you go upstairs, we have another bathroom. And then over here, we have werewolves bedroom. And this is of course Greg Jr.'s bedroom. And then we have our second occult bedroom, our vampire queen. And then we have the bedroom for the other kids. I felt like I wanted to give them the biggest room since they're sharing. And then we've got mom's room, just a classic suburban normal mom, nothing to see here. And then we've got our newest baby, Jack and Peach Ishmay, who I have a feeling will move into Greg's once Greg moves out and then that will be like a Christmas themed room. But yeah, so this is the new and improved home that I have made. I think it looks kind of magical and mysterious and I love it. So I hope you guys like it too. If you did miss the build and you wanna watch it, you can go check it out on my second channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey and Peach Ishmay. So we back, we're waiting on Patchy. What could we plant that is spring related? Is the other plant that we used to have spring? No, it's fall. Ooh, maybe we could purchase some magical plants. And back here also we have the boxing thing. This is technically for Greg Jr. to work on his skills, but I love that my darling daughter is already using it. She's a little spitfire. Mandrake is fall and spring. Perfect. So let's plant the mandrake over here. Perfect. Ooh, Catherine's level four of fitness. Is that ahead of Greg Jr.? I feel like Greg Jr. is only level three. Oh my God, he is only level three. Can you join your sister with this? And then Lilith, of course, is sitting down being her perfect little angelic self with her very pointed features and tiny yeah. eyes. And we got Felix playing with the dolls in the dollhouse over here, which is very cute. And Catherine's doing great. She's a high school C student and Greg Jr. is a B student. I've decided his two skills will be like handiness and fitness. So I'm gonna have him keep working on those skills. Ooh, open social bunny. Who's messaged us? Hey bestie, hope you're having an excellent day. This is mom. Thanks mom. And Lucas said, who knows that pillow to the face could be so thrilling. Okay, Lucas. Things are complicated with Lucas. I don't even know how to feel about that. Can we like have her sneak out? of the house. Wait, go here. I thought that we were able to use just this trellis, but I think we have to use the ladder instead. There we go. It's kind of working. It works on the side of this. What if I did just make this a little wider? Can we have it now? There we go. Okay, fantastic. So maybe I'll just have it like this and we'll just have there just be trellises everywhere. Listen, it's not awesome, but it's not bad. So I think it'll be fine. Wait, can I put their their pictures in here? Oh my God, I can. This is very funny to me. All the dads are like around. We obviously can't do that for very long, but I find that very satisfying. We'll have this one for Santa. All right, I think it might be time for everybody to go to bed. It's Monday. Y'all have school tomorrow. I want you all in bed. I love that everyone's going to school today. I won't have to deal with any of the kids. Kids. This is amazing. Can you cook something? Like it might not be good, but you're up. You might as well try to cook for the family, Catherine. Good job, Catherine. Okay, the mandrake plant is doing well. I just wish that Patchy would wake up. Everyone's going to school together today. Lilith wants to meet five new Sims. Good for you, Lilith. Ooh, she leveled up her cooking skill. I didn't even know she had a cooking skill, to be honest. So very proud of you, sweetie, for cooking for everyone this morning. How's Felix? He's a little hungry and needs to use the toilet. 
it. All right, Felix, you can go use that bathroom here and go grab some food. And then everybody else, are you guys wanting to get up maybe? We're just in all the students alone today. As much as I want to come, I want all of you guys to get your grades up and I don't think your grades can go up while I'm there. It does feel kind of like I'm a mother of a bunch of magical children. It's kind of fun. Okay, all my kids are studying hard, making sure that they get their grades up. And then it's just me, Chelsea, waiting on this scarecrow to wake up. Oh, let's invite over Santa to take his photo. Hopefully he never darkens our doorway again after today. Oh, Clement Frost will be right over. Amazing. Oh, he's coming. He's coming to town. All right, let's take our photo of Clement Frost. Get this over with. Bathroom cash. Well, taking quick big Catherine's by some money so just sitting in the sink of the bathroom. Should she slide in her locker for skiff or just turn it into the principal right away? Oh, she'd save it. She'd take the money. I don't think Catherine would turn it in at all. Who says a formal education doesn't pay off? At the end of the day, Catherine will leave this school a little wiser and a little richer. He's literally posed in the exact same way as every other man we've taken a photo of for this wall. I don't understand why they all pose the same way. There we go. Our four dads loving it. And he's doing push-ups. You know, you don't really need to stick around. You could just go home. Goodbye. Greg Jr. has two different tests today and one of them is going to be tough. There's a little time to study beforehand. Should he spend all of his time studying for the harder test or use the time to study for both tests equally? I think he would try to do both. That extra study time was vital for the difficult test and brushing up on the material for that easy test was worthwhile too. Greg earns a B plus and an A. Sweet. Oh, that's great. Hopefully Patchy wakes up in the next 30 seconds. Here we go. Come on, Patchy. Otherwise, I'm literally calling someone else. I am not waiting for you to be available for me. Patchy, what the heck? Why is Patchy not waking up? Oh my God. You know what, Patchy? You missed your shot. I'm inviting over a mermaid. I'm so annoyed. Like, what the heck? He's gonna be right over. That's what you get, Patchy, okay? You making me wait? Oh my God, nope, he's alive. Okay, you can leave. Go home, mermaid man. Hey, how you doing, Patchy? Good of you to show up. Why does it not say have a baby with Patchy? Excuse me? Huh? You have to cheat and add Patchy to your household in order for Patchy to have a baby with you. Uh, fine, Patchy's in my household. It just got worse. Wait, it's still not saying we can do anything with him. I'm gonna check on Patchy and Kaz. Here's Patchy. He's evil and he wants to be a public enemy, but he loves cats and wants to make candles. Great, giving Patchy a makeover, a thing you guys didn't expect. He's not bad looking though. He's got a good bone structure. Should he have a cowboy hat on too? Oh wait, here we go. There, that's human Patchy and that's Scarecrow Patchy. Patchy McAdams, welcome to the family. Temporarily. Is it gonna happen now? There's no option to have a baby with Patchy. Am I going insane? Whoa, whoa, he's straight up dude. <gasps> Patchy, what the frick? That was so mean. He just completely annihilated my children's dollhouse. I literally hate you, Patchy. I'm gonna get you out of my house as quick as possible. Oh no! No, I don't want to be best friends. Get out of here. Go home. I'm woohooing in here. Santa! He's devastated. Why are you watching, you perv? This is terrible. Santa's watching me woohoo Patchy the straw man in the shower. Yeah, you should be getting home now, he says. And all my children are back home. Okay, I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to remove Patchy from my household. And if you guys know how to do this, let me know and I will get Patchy for the next baby. I am annoyed. Patchy, you suck. We're gonna invite over our other lover. I love that he came over and we were like, no leave. And now we're like, mm, never mind, come back over. Is he here? Yes, okay. Our next baby father is here and we are going to try for a baby in the bush. Are you kidding me? Literally, as we're trying for a baby, Clement Frost came back over and wants to be best friends again. Hopefully he never darkens our doorway again after today. They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Stop following me to the bathroom. Sad about rejection. He doesn't blame Chelsea for turning him down, but just sometimes feels bad to be around Chelsea. Stop, I am busy. Oh my God, Santa walked in on me again, hooking up with someone else in the bathroom when I did not invite him over. He's late for an activity. Were you supposed to go after school? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Okay, Greg is off to football. Catherine's pretty sad. She's like crying to herself. Chelsea is still woohooing. Good on you, Kel Chelsea. Flip. That is not the time. Go take a pregnancy test, Chelsea, and see.
see if you're pregnant. Okay, we're eating for two. Let us pray that this is a mermaid baby. How you doing, Felix? You're doing great. Why don't you breeze through your homework since you're in a good mood? Greg Jr. came back from football. How was football, buddy? He's feeling hurt and time to wear black. Okay, he's going through what seems like a mood swing, but taking some awesome photos himself. Oh, and as usual, Uku is eating my children's food. Maybe? Stop. We're taking care of Jack, whose birthday it is tomorrow. So that'll be exciting to have another toddler around. Any level four of the handiness? Yes. Okay, we'll only need one level more of handiness and two levels more of fitness. And then he is ready to be moved out of the house, essentially. Why is she so sad? Dramatically cry about light. What happened? She's feeling hurt by someone nearby and tied to wear black. Did she get in a fight with her brother? Is that what happened? Yep, they're having some sort of fight. They're hurt and he's a big sad wolf. Accidentally frightened Catherine with his werewolfy ways. Oh, but he needs some fun. So let's have you practice your punching outside. Can Lilith do this skill? She can. So might as well, you know, start on it, Lilith. Oh, he is really having trouble here getting his head in the game. Why don't you try jogging to clear your mind, okay? That'll help with the skill and also it'll hopefully clear your mind. And after that, you can do your homework. See, there we go. He's feeling better. He's on his phone while jogging. So everyone's done their homework except for my eldest child. She's really inspired though. She likes hearing the great melody of the undead. It speaks to her and her soul. And Greg Jr. is coming home slowly but surely. He needs a shower. And then I think we'll have a little bit of time to do your homework before school tomorrow. You have this desk. Why aren't you sitting here to do your homework? Maybe he wants to be around his siblings who are asleep. All my other sims have a good night schedule, but of course our, our little night owl burning the night oil and everyone is asleep in the household. Amazing. It is Jack's birthday today, which is awesome. Oh, and then Catherine is up first. She is stinky. She needs the bathroom and to shower. Got up very early to get ready for school and we are out of salad. So look who's going to be my new salad maker. It's you girl. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Just feels like Catherine might be a bit of the black sheep of the family. It doesn't seem like she gets along with anyone. Lilith is up. I love that there's two bathrooms up here. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of convenient. Oh, I love these little supernatural kiddos. They make me so happy. Oh, and Felix, what a good boy. Made the table. And how's Greg Jr.? He's just still chilling. Might be good for him to grab a salad this morning too. Let's send all the students alone again. Okay, bye everyone. Oh, friend's birthday. Everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that Lilith wasn't invited to. She kind of thought the host was her friend, so it doesn't make any sense. Should she ask her friend or let it go? I think Lilith would let it go, but she would like always remember. <laughs> Who needs a friend like that anyway? Lilith tunes it out and plays with the new girl at recess. Later, she finds the invite in her cubby, unburied under a style bag of pretzels. Oops, looks like she was invited. Food fight, Lilith started a food fight in the cafeteria. See, she never forgets, causing both the student to join in. Oh, what a natural leader. Good for you, Lilith. Felix started a food fight too. Natural leader, beautiful job, Felix. We're going to super efficient baby care for our baby. And then we're gonna get a toddler. Oh, ate a friend. Catherine's friend was hasn't studied for the big exam today. Since she's taking it earlier in the day, Catherine could easily remember the questions and slip her friend the answers. Should she do it or let the friend figure it out? Oh, I feel like Catherine would do anything for her friends. I feel like she's one of those girls. It's not very nice unless you're her friend and then she would kill for you. Share the answers. It takes a few answers to make sure that Catherine's friend passes. Now her friend owes a gigantic fader and not a bad position to be in. Okay, great. Love that for her. All right, and then we're going to age up our baby Jack Frost. And he's a charmer. Oh, that makes sense. Jack and Peachishme, let's modify you. Okay, Jack, you look really cute. He needs kind of like ice blue eyes. There we go. We can do like a red and green kind of vibe for him. Little Christmas elf. There we go. Like, look how cute this is. Maybe we'll do the blue one. Oh my gosh, this kid is so cute. Little elf boy, his formal wear. There's like that. That looks okay for his sleepy wear. These little Christmas pajamas, get out. They're so cute. Okay, party wear. Ooh. Is this kind of, it's like red and green. That looks great. Maybe some green pants, then some cute little boots. So we have this outfit, this outfit, but then I found this outfit and this is also perfect. So we're going to also have Jack wear this. Like, look how cute that kid is. That looks like a little baby elf. These are like outfits I never would normally wear and it's so cute. I think he should have like an extra little trait. Father Winter's baby, there it is. Boom, Father Winter's baby. Wow, Father Winter's actually Jack's dad. That's amazing. Wonder if he gets any magical abilities from having Father Winter as an actual father. All right, we're putting Jack downstairs. Oh my God, this kid is so cute. <laughs> 
It's like, imagine someone coming over to this house and seeing one child that looks like a goth vampire, but isn't. One child that looks like a goth princess and is a vampire. And also this kid is there. So let's maybe like try to teach him potty. Unfinished assignment. When Lilith gets to class, she realizes her timeline is due. The one that was supposed to start weeks ago. She eyes the stack of papers piling up on her teacher's desk. All she needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does she try to copy a classmates or confess the truth? Lilith is a good girl. I think she'd confess the truth. Lilith's teacher commends her for her honesty and gives her a one-time extension. She has a lot to get done in a short time, but at least she got a second chance. That's sweet. I love that for her. Ooh, Greg Jr.'s resolution became complete. He became a better student and he got his grades up. Does that mean he's an A student? He's literally back. Clement Frost is back and he wants to become best friends with Chelsea again. And not only is Clement Frost back, but guess who's alive when I thought he might not be? Patchy. Patchy's back. This is weird. Hello? Catherine won a school prize. Should we give it to her in front of the class quietly or privately? In front of everyone. Chelsea loves that kind of stuff. Why are you still here? Get out. I knew that one time we'd invite him over and we'd never get rid of him again. I knew it. Come here, little buddy. We're going to teach you about your basic needs. Back? Also, that's your dad. Just ignore him as I make him leave. He's so perfect. Look at that perfect little face. I wish I could give him pointy ears. If you guys know of CC where I can give kids pointy ears, please put them in the comments. And Patchy's here. Maybe I'll just have to get used to him. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to get used to Patchy because he is a total butthole. Again, Patchy. Again. Is this because I made you move out? Okay, Lilith is a B student. Greg Jr. is an A student. Oh my gosh. That means we can age up Greg Jr. and he doesn't have to be a high schooler anymore. But we can't let him out of the house until we get all of his required skills up. So Catherine, why don't you play some games? Lilith is just imaginative, focused, chilling. Jack is chatting with Patchy, dressed as a full elf. All right, why don't you play with the toy? Bleep the robot. How about that, Jack? He's level one on everything, but he's pretty good on thinking. Oh, he's tired. Chelsea's putting him to bed. What a cutie. He looks great in there. We love you, Jack. Oh, looks like Greg Jr. cleaned up the thing for us. Why don't you blow out your candles? Cause it's your birthday. Patchy just celebrated him. Good job, Patchy. Greg Jr.'s a snob. And I'm gonna have him be a little werewolf initiate. Is. <gasps> he graduated with honors. Congratulations, Greg Jr finished his high school experience strong and graduated with honors. Those long hours have paid off and now it's time to get paid. Starting a career in adulthood will start off with high school performance just like you did in high school. Cute. All right, kid. Now you gotta practice punching. Work on your workouts. Catherine is angry. I wonder why. She's like annoyed with one of her siblings as usual. Oh, Greg Jr., you're reading a book? Well, if you want to read a book, you know a book you could read? A book about handiness. There we go. I'm gonna buy all three of them. Catherine, you're next, okay? You need to level up your stuff by maybe doing some homework. Lilith is taking her bath. Do you need to do homework? She needs to get a skill up to level four. Why don't you ask to feel your mom's baby? I don't know if I've seen like kids do that as much. So that's kind of cute. She's so sweet. Oh, she just leveled up. Perfect. All done with that. And let's do your homework. And then Felix, how you doing? Oh my God, my little gloomy man. He has not done his homework. Well, Felix, maybe you could start. All the kids in here are doing their homework together and hanging out. It's so cute. You. Everybody's working hard on this Tuesday night. Lilith is gonna go to bed. She's tired. Felix also is probably a little tired, so let's get all the kids to bed. All right, everyone's going to bed at a reasonable-ish hour. I think that's pretty impressive. All right, well, it's a morning. It's like 4 a.m. and she's like fully rested, so why don't we cook a nice breakfast for the family? Eggs and toast. Yay, so delicious. Everyone's getting ready for school today, and little Jack and Peach Ishmay is having having his breakfast with his little shoes. Look at his cute little shoes. I would like to adult now. She's talking to her big brother. You'll always be my baby sister, he says. Cute. Why don't you practice some punching? Work out your emotions through fitness. And we're gonna send our darling daughter alone. I feel like we're gonna just go maybe one day with the teens to high school and then we'll send them the rest of the days. So not all of my kids are at school now. We've got two at home. Let's work on our flashcards with Jack. We'll work on our needs again and great Junior is mad as usual. Well, how are your skills? Still not level five. Okay, let's read the upgrading the soul. You're very sad. What do you 
sad about from being a sad wolf. Try to get over Crush. Oh yeah, you should try to get over Lucas for sure. Oh, Jack reached thinking level two. Good job, Jack. And try see my Greg Jr. can't get over Lucas. Oh, poor guy. Oh my gosh. Father Winter will not stop texting me. I'm so over you, Father Winter. Stop texting me. How are your skills, my darling son? Handiness is so low. Can you upgrade anything? He can. Oh my gosh. Let's upgrade some stuff around the house. Mom's coming to chat with him while he works on upgrading this. Oh God, now he's angry. Why? Losing control from fear of unfulfilled dreams. He wants to have some fun. There we go. He finished installing the bathtub upgrade. Good job, buddy. He wants to have some fun. So he's challenging his mom to a competition. Jack, meanwhile, is just a perfect little angel. Needs nothing, wants for nothing. Is this not fun enough for you? All right, well, what, what is fun? Video games could be fun. How about that? Play, Blick Block. Greg Jr., are you having any fun? There it goes, we did it. Viewer admire a piece of art at the museum from being an art lover. I forgot he's an art lover. And drink a glass of nectar from being a snob. This is hilarious. All right, why don't you take a cold shower? Calm down because you're so angry. Oh, and grades are up. Felix is and Catherine are A students. Oh my gosh, that means Catherine can move out. Oh, I don't want her to move out. Let's just age up Felix right now and then I guess I'll have to say goodbye to Catherine at some point. I think we should just let Catherine still live here for now. Your birthday is here, Felix. You're being celebrated by Patchy McAdams and your sister Lilith the vampire. Happy birthday, my son. Child of the ocean makes so much sense for him, even though he's not a mermaid. And I'm going to have him, since he's a vegetarian and child of the ocean, maybe he'll be like super into like, he wants to be like a freelance botanist. Oh, and he cut off all his hair. Okay, I actually like this look. I'm not even gonna touch it. Oh my God, you drama queen. Please add birthday candles for your birthday. She's enraged. Maybe we shouldn't age her up while she's enraged. She could die. Let's just go jog to clear your mind, okay? I need you to calm down so I can age you up. She's not having any fun on this jog. I'm not entirely surprised. Can we like have a cold shower? I just want you to calm down your enragedness. Fine, maybe you don't want to not be a teen. I think I'm gonna save aging her up for next time, but this is a very dramatic and hilarious episode. We didn't have any new children, but we did have our sweet baby old Jack, which I think might be a quick fan favorite. Let me know your thoughts about Jack in the comments and make sure to leave all of your baby name ideas for future mermaid babies and let me know how to have a baby with Patchy. And until next time, guys, see you on the internet very soon. Once more, we avoided having a baby with Patchy. Is it a blessing in disguise? Not really, because I just want to get it over with.